Garo the Herald, and this is my uh, review of Orange Episode 2. Now, in this episode, um, we're seeing that um, Naho's trying to do different things than the letter to try to encourage um, Gakuru to play soccer, and, and so we see that that happens, and so it feels like she's changing events. Um, so... We see that Naho kind of really likes him, and you can tell that he likes her too, but we really don't know. They're really not sharing their feelings, um, so we really don't know what's going to happen. Um, but at one point of the series, that was really cute, where she makes um, a lunch for him because he mentions that he really doesn't make food for himself. Um, so, you know, you can tell that her parents kind of know something's up because she's out of the blue making extra food. So they're kind of like questioning her, what, what are you doing that for? Um, <clears throat> but, uh, later in that episode, uh, she finally gives it to him and, uh, she tells him that she's going to make him a bento every day and he kind of laughs at her. I really don't think at this point he knows that she really likes him she kind of i think he kind of still thinks of her as a friend but then at the end of this episode we see it goes back to the future again and nothing's really changed um hakaru still died in the future um and naho is still with sua so we really don't know that it's really changed the future at all so we're wondering now if uh, do you, she needs to change a lot more to make a difference. Overall, I, I it seems like um, it's keeping my interest. So I'm hoping that we get to learn more of whether or not she can change the future or not. I mean, we do see that there's little changes, but it may take a lot more to save. So like always, um, subscribe, comment, look for more future updates on Twitter. Keep that up to date. And thank you very much.